Okay, getting back here. Sorry, we had a little malfunction on the computer. Nothing is perfect. All right, starting off, Fox closes the gap with a grab. Um, wow, Fox is actually doing a pretty decent combo start, but that is not stopping Pikachu. This Pikachu, D.I. King Pikachu, could just sit there, and he's just racking up damage so fast. But it looks like Fox ain't having it this round. He's going to sit there, and he's going to try at least getting that one win on there. Let's see what you got, JJ. You got Fox doing a beautiful back here. Pikachu getting back onto the ledge desperately. As Fox is just... Wow, look at that combo game. Fox is not letting Pikachu touch the ground. He, Ooh, Fox goes right in, not even hesitant to that up air, or that up smash. For a brief moment, Pikachu got to talk to another one of the Super Smash Brothers cast members, Cloud, as he was in Cloud's part of the neighborhood. We'll call that Cloud9. Now, we got Fox sitting here just... He's playing pretty. I, I would say he's playing pretty cautious a little bit, you know. Well, getting Pikachu in there should be playing cautious now. He's one stock down, but. No, he's playing very aggressive. He needs to be playing defensively, but yet aggressively at the same time because Fox is at that kill percent, so if he wants to. Fox is just sitting there trying to see what openings he can go for, and then he will just juggle yeah, the crap out Fox of Pikachu. Fox is being careful in getting what combos he can on Pikachu while he's still. And or before he gets. He's racking up the damage pretty well. You got Ooh, Pikachu trying again to, with the thunder combo. You got Pikachu trying to read the DI on that, and he was off again. Looks like Fox likes to lean towards the left more when he's getting thrown out of that up air. Or up throw. Oh, but Pikachu Ooh. read the recovery again. I think got that's what's gonna take smash. it in the end. Pikachu reading that recovery. Because once you do that, he's doing such a good job reading that recovery. It's just a game changer. You got Pikachu sitting there trying to get back on the stage and close the damage gap between him and Fox, but it's a pretty hard thing to do with this Fox now that he's playing more cautiously. It's 98% to 9%. I mean, Fox, couple hits here, he'll be pretty good kill range. And Fox, he gets the kill shot with a beautiful up air, giving him the first win of this best of five set. Do you think JJ's adapted enough to change the game in the end? We'll find out. Yeah. This summer. This summer. All right. This is this has actually been quite a turnout today. A lot of high level players have came here to this competition. I think we got a lot of good footage. Looks like we did not have an agreement on stage pick. See, now that statement would have been true if this was Melee Fox versus Pikachu. Right. No contest. But this isn't Melee. Smash 4. <clears throat> Alright, starting off on Dreamland. See, now I like this stage and the nostalgicness of it from the original Smash Brothers. So I'm really happy there's a lot of people here picking that stage today. Now, starting off, Pikachu is. Starting off with this grab happy combo game, closing the ground with the quick attack and going right in. Was that his neutral that's doing that? Yeah. Neutral right in the side. Wow. Look at, look at the wall here by Pikachu closing off any recovery with his um thunder shocks. I, I don't know what the heck it is. We're just gonna cause little we're gonna cause little lightning bolt thunder shock things if I screw up on it. But Pikachu is controlling this with his quick attacks and his thunder shocks, trying to get a smash out of there. I think he's getting a little greedy there. Cloud red or. Fox McCloud read that. He had a perfectly good dodge. Fox is sitting there trying to see his options. I think he's going to go back to playing cautiously. I think it's a smart move at this point. He's finding some pretty good openings here to close the damage gap. Well, Pikachu's just sitting there getting him. Ooh, nice back air. Pikachu's trying to read those recoveries like he did the last two rounds to punish Fox, but Fox is getting used to that punish now. Honestly, if I were Pikachu, I would not be getting too happy with that punish right there because Fox is going to adapt to it, and then it's going to be a worthless punish gonna be like a reverse punish in the end you know yeah. it, it was good the first two rounds because he's catching him off guard i wouldn't even have expected it but now i'm like he's gonna sit there and side smash me i'm gonna be cautious pikachu getting with the up throw reading that di now getting him with the thunder trying to stun him with quick attack i don't know what the heck he just hit him when fox tried grabbing him but you got fox playing defensively fox should have went in for a grab but he's going in with with his forward smashes pikachu kind of playing a fox right here like, they're both kind of playing a little bit more aggressively now. Ooh, Pikachu gets that nice up smash on Fox. Starts off the stock lossage there with a beautiful up smash. You got Fox actually 
playing way aggressive now, just trying to catch up. And sometimes that's a good idea, but I don't think it is with this Pikachu because he plays into that aggressiveness. You've got to be patient with him. You missed the Thunder combo yet again. If it's anything he learned the first round, patience is a virtue. And rushing in there is just going to lead into the same exact result as the first two matches. Oh, no. Oh, nice. Fox gets a recovery. Pikachu, yep, Pikachu lost the stock. Stage spike. He, Pikachu got very greedy there. And... Fox got very lucky there with that stage bike. Honestly, yeah. Pikachu should have been patient. He had everything in that match, but he's got a really good um, start on damage right now. You got Fox being patient. He's got a build. He's got a long way to go here. Twenty-one percent versus eighty-eight percent, and Pikachu's now playing cautious because you know Pikachu does not want that gap to be closed. He's gonna. He he's gonna be playing with that advantage right there. Now let's see if Mr. Di King has got it. Nope, not yet. Not yet. Fox is getting some pretty good. I'm um, reading there, trying to close the damage gap with his um, with his gun. But I think Pikachu's just so short it doesn't really do anything. This is a quite interesting match. There you go, Fox diing out of Di yeah. King's uh, thunder right there. You got you got them both now playing super cautiously. Fox is in kill percent. Pikachu doesn't want to be in kill percent. He's got a little bit of um lead way here, but you know if he keeps on playing carelessly, Fox is gonna he's gonna. Well, Go into his patience here. Is that if you combo with him correctly, you can also get early percentage kills. So, uh, but Pikachu's light enough. I think it. Well, Pikachu's light enough. I think he Ooh. can kind of counteract it. That was very very close. Yeah, and see, Fox is closing the gap. He's been doing a wonderful job now, going back into his patience. Pikachu now at kill percent. Pikachu and Fox both at kill percent now. Is Pikachu going to sit there and play into the recovery? Oh, oh stage spike! Oh. Oh! oh, Fox gets hit with a stage spike. That was a wonderful set. Pikachu winning this one, three to one. What a good turnout! JJ almost had a comeback. I was really pulling with him there. His Fox was, once he gets the patience down, he would do just fine. But I think what costed him this this round was he was impatient with his first stock. Gave Pikachu one heck of a lead, and Pikachu used his advantage to it.